I'd like to uh, call the meeting to order. First up is approval of meeting minutes for August 25th, 2022 and October 27th, 2022. We didn't meet in September. I'd like to make a motion to Second. approve the minutes of August 25th, 2022 and October 27th, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. Um, I think we'll start into the administrative piece first and then the executive. Or the executive first. What do you suggest? I'm going to start with the administrative actions. I have a letter here requesting that uh, Jessica Dibia from 19 Kent Street special permit and variance be extended to next month. I'd like to make a motion to extend Jessica Dibia 19 Kent Street. Um, to continue that to the next hearing. Continue. For a variance and extension. She wants an extension. She wants another year. Another year? Mm hmm That's good day. They're good for a year. Yeah, it's a year. Anybody here for it? Is there anybody here for that? Oh, perfect. Come on up. Name and um, address for the board, please. Uh, my name is Jessica Debia, and I live at 1910 Street. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Can you talk about what you're requesting, please? So we're requesting an extension for the special permit and variance. Um, it took quite a bit of time to actually find a contractor to work with and call us back. So um, we finally got one. We're working with one now and just trying to finalize budget and plan. We had some hiccups with our pro original proposed plan from our architect. So now with all the updates and waiting to hear back from them, seems like we're hopefully on the road to get ready. Great, thank you. And then I do have an updated plan. We decided not to move the garage forward so we wouldn't lose driveway space. I don't know if you guys wanted it. Um, Everything else should be the same. I think where you're gonna change it, I would just come back and submit it. Okay. That way it's on file. Okay. okay. So when we apply for the building permit? You don't have to reapply, no. Oh, okay. Just add it. So you had, on your original decision, you had a variance? <laughs> yeah, the variance was from the front and the side. So that will stay the same. The only thing that we're changing is not bringing the, the garage forward to the driveway. We're keeping it where it is. So we don't, wouldn't lose driveway space because we were trying to connect the garage forward into a mud room, but we figured that's literally gonna have taken half of our driveway. So we're gonna keep the garage and then just push the house back like we had talked about and then connect it that side. And you have not filed for a building permit yet, right? No, not with the contractor, no. Well, we got denied originally and that's how we found out we had the variance issue. So right now you don't have a building permit? I don't think so, no. They had said that we needed to request an extension since we're up Ours, I think, expires yeah. December 16th. Right, but now you're changing it. Yeah. So you may have to. Yeah, I'm okay with an extension. When, when she goes to file, she'll have to put... Uh, yeah, put that paperwork with it. Because you were denied a building permit, that's what right. I can do. Mm -hmm. And then you didn't have a contractor, so you never went back for a building permit. So you're kind of in the middle now. Okay. So the next step is to get a building permit or? But you contract with them. Oh, okay. Because right. that. that's what I thought was yeah. good. Okay. Okay. Just make sure that he's aware that those plans aren't the ones you submitted originally. Yeah, he's he knows that, yeah. So we just got this updated at the end of August. Okay, somebody want to make a motion? To extend um, this? I think it was you, Rob, and, and Mike that approved the to original extend. variance. I'll make the motion to extend the permit. How do you know that? <laughs> I 
Was that a motion? Yes. I guess it was. Half baked. Where is I can't find that. Yeah, it was a motion to extend it. How long did we extend it for? A year. A year. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, at this time, we are going to call an executive session out of um, order of, uh, out of our normal agenda. Um, I'm gonna request that there's no recording at this time and it be placed on hold at this, at that, while we're doing our executive summary.
Good evening, everybody. I'd like to call the meeting back in session. I'm very sorry for the interruption. Okay. Um, next up to order is our continued hearings. We are going to go with David Plunkett on behalf of Claudio Pereira for a variance under Section 5.3.2 and 5.3.1. E3 of Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for a front yard setback to construct a 24 by 18 detached garage, 20 by 20 enclosed gazebo, and install a 20 by 18 in ground pool as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 20 South Rota Street, Assessor Snap 70, Lot 174, zoned residential. And this one was continued from 102722. That was a mouthful, everyone. That was a mouthful. Okay. Madam Chair, I don't know if you want me to put. The yeah, please. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Plunkett. Name and address for the board, please. Uh, good evening, Madam Chair and members of the board. For the record, David Plunkett, representing the applicant here tonight regarding the request for the variance as you uh, recited. Um, at the last meeting, we did a fairly, you know, I think comprehensive review of the site and what we were looking to do. And uh, the extension was for the purpose of board members to personally view the site. So I, I think maybe I might just leave it that you know, we're here to answer any right. questions you have as a result of the site view. So the um, voting members are Dan, Rob, and Mike tonight. Um, just so that we're all clear on who's voting. We actually have the paperwork today too, so that helps as well. Um, and um, I need to ask the board, have you three walked? I have walked them. Premises, yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Do you gentlemen have any questions? Uh, do we have to have the gazebo or the pool? I wasn't happy with how close that garage is going to be to the street. I think, it, I think it's a lot for that, that small lot. Do a garage, a gazebo, and an in-ground pool. Um, the plan as presented would be what they would hope to do to the backyard for the benefit of the family, uh, but certainly, you know, understand the nature of, you know, what we're trying to do here tonight mm -hmm. is, you know, if we're at a absolute dead end, we could certainly discuss. Okay. Just to make sure it's fresh in mind. I went and looked at it. I actually have a question. Huh? Uh, um, right. the chair, I, I was wondering how many buildings you're going to have off once you finish the plan with the uh, garage and the pool and, and um, total on, on, on the property. Yeah. I mean, it would be what you saw when you yeah. went to the uh, site view, right. other than the removal of a shed that's to the right of the carport uh, that currently exists there now. Which so it's on the inside, on the outside of the fence. On the, as I recall. Uh, on the outside of the fence, as I recall. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that, that, that would be removed and taken off of the site. The carport, and I thought I heard last month that you were also going to remove the current shed that's there too. Yes. Are you removing it fully or are you replacing it? And re putting it somewhere else in your property? No, it's gone completely. And we're talking about this the little Should one yeah. 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 that's on right the, near the carport. Yeah, right. the only right thing on that, that will be on that 
will be what uh, the garage pool and gazebo. Can I get your name and address Sorry. for the board as well, uh, please? Claudio Pereira, uh, 20 South Rota. Thank right. you. Thank you. That was my only question was the relocating of the shed. Dan, do you have questions? Uh, no, I just wanted to ask any neighbors or butters here. Yes, and if I remember correctly, he spoke last month as well, so. Any other questions? Yeah, I do have a quick question. Okay. Like, as a, as I, I look at the pool here, what um, as far as the I don't know if that's east or west side, but anyways, as you're looking at the building to the right, how far is that from the fence? From the back thing. Yeah. That looks like for that <coughs> So yeah. So off of the so the back deck that's turn the purple point in the left. Well, probably 10 feet. No, actually, well, it would end up being more. Thank you. You've seen the letter from the town that's in our packet, right? Uh, the one that's stating it has three items, but the third one states that there's still a gap in title from um, Edith Drive. The town, the town is still considering Edith Drive or Paper Street. I, I had email correspondence with the building commissioner when this first started, and I do have the email when I spoke to him. Is this the? Uh, this was an email that I had from uh, Mr. <coughs> Bernanasi on May fourth, and he said that. Unless we had a determination of dissolution by the court, that he would still have to address it that same way in terms as, of his calculation. But the option then would be to uh, seek a variance. Right. Uh, and you know, as I mentioned the last time, you know, I'm not going to you know. Uh, challenge his decision to say, hey, get me a decision in the court, or I'm still saying the, the plan that created this lot, which is up there right now, that shows this Edith Drive, you know, that, that created that lot, but as we showed last time, you know, that was 1954, 1961, I think, or 66 is when, a 61 that the the town actually endorsed that plan that allowed the developer to so, utilize it. So ultimately, it's either a paper street or your neighbor's property. One Correct. or the other. It, it's, right. yeah. Either way, it's not yours. Right. Yeah. And we, so, we don't dispute that it's not our. our so you're looking land. at you're looking at a 25 foot setback or a 15 foot setback, right? Correct. And in our position would and be we're that at, the, we're at five. At, you know, <coughs> six for the six. Uh, for the pool and in five for the for the garage. Uh, what, what is it for the gazebo? The gazebo was six, six as well. In you know, in, in our position was that the really the only way to really look at this is to look at the title of our next door neighbor who has deeds in which. He has been conveyed title, and in respecting the building commissioner's stand to say I'm, he's looking at the original plan from 1954. We're saying, well, we would have to. I think only the only reasonable way to look at that land is it belongs to the next door neighbor, because the the town approved that. <clears throat> excuse me, the town approved the plan that created this lot, and the developer that submitted that plan that was approved in the 1960s then conveyed to him that remaining portion of Edith Drive that wasn't incorporated into the 1966 subdivision plan. 
a 61, whether I'm sorry if I'm missing the dates, but you, whatever the date is, it's either 60 or 61. Uh, 66 right. or 61. So also, if you're familiar with this letter, uh, point number two that the town's bringing up, the plot plan accompanied by the application does not show a date. However, the building commissioner's refusal letter indicates a plot plan dated 12-21-21. According to the Zoning Board of Appeals application packet, the plot plan must be dated within six months. I, I, I never received, was that supposed to have been sent It was sent in your packet. You didn't have this? No. Take it, we got more. Mm-hmm. Wait, David, am I in? Sir, do you have yours? I do, yeah. Can I have that, yeah. Thank you. It seems like this was denied quite some time ago, almost a year ago now, right? Uh, the denial letter was, I believe, May. David, seven twenty seven. Out of ten six. The commission is dated in April. Basically, the denial letter said that it was denied unless there was a grant of a variance. So, uh, so that was the course of action that was followed to get the uh, request of variance, uh, which was. So April of 2022 was the denial letter. And that, that reference indicated that we had to get a variance. In reference section 4130, which was the applicable uh, bylaw in effect at that time. And when we filed, we made reference to 4130 as spelled out in the uh, April 24th letter and also reference current sections 5.3.2 and 5.3.1.E.3 and that was I had the opportunity to talk to Mr. Uh, Nasi at the time that we were filing and he said okay that's fine as long as we reference what he referenced in his letter and then reference the new uh, uh, section in the in the bylaws that were adopted in the at the May yep. uh, meet, town meeting. I mean, regarding the plot plan, uh, he makes reference to the uh, plot plan dated December 24, 2021. Uh, Mike, you know, the applicant is here today and he can certainly I testify that there has been no change to the footprint of any building or structure on the site, which would be the issue relative to the date of the, the plot plan. So that in and of itself would not be any material issue unless he were unable to say, oh yeah, I got that in uh, uh, 21, but I've also done multiple changes since then. So if you want for the record, I can have uh, the applicant place on the record that the structures shown as existing at the time of the application, that there has been no change uh, since that time. That would make me happy if you'd say that. Yeah, uh, so just as a matter of a question uh, to Claudio, uh, Mr. Pereira, if, can you please for the record 
testifying that this is a public hearing that basically anything said here is to be deemed under oath, that those structures and the layout of structures as existing on that plot plan are still uh, representative of the uh, footprints of any building on the lot as they exist today. Yes, they are. Okay. What, um, on your gazebo. Yes. Do you have any pictures of that? Is it any more in-depth pictures? Does it have a foundation? Is it sitting on block? Is it in our packet? Yes. Uh, exhibit uh, B uh, to the submittal was the uh, gazebo. Shows me the gazebo. Is you're going to build it like this, sitting on uh, piles, or does it have a foundation? No, it's going to be on uh, sign sheets, um, which I have. That shows the sign sheets. Yeah. yeah. So the first page in Exhibit B yeah. does show the. Uh, Framing elevations and shows the uh, sonar tubes that they will be resting upon. Mm. Those the sonar tubes, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So it would be the bottom. Um, oh, actually, the two thirds bottom of the what's referenced, which is shown as SK-1, proposed gazebo framing. Yeah, SK-1 SK just happens to have the sauna tubes in there. Yeah. Right, this is just, yeah. you're buying this, this gazebo? No, I'll be you're building, building it. Right. The pool's an in-ground pool, right? Yes. How deep? Uh, the deepest part will be eight feet. I mean, nine feet. Sorry. Nine feet. And the garage is a full foundation, right? Yes. Somebody to make a motion. You want to open it back up to the audience or just the audience or something? No, that's right. Does anybody want to speak on behalf of uh, Mr. Pereira? Go up to the podium, please. Name and address. Uh, Joseph D. Maria, 30 South Wall Street. Have you determined what the setback is going to be for the garage from the street? Um, on his print, it is 19 feet, is what he's asking for. It's, it's. Now, when he parks a vehicle in front of his garage, it's going to be on town property. Um, not if it's under 19 feet. Well, my car is 20 feet. He has a truck that's going to be 22 feet. Imagine your truck? No, I did not.
It still hasn't been determined. You didn't happen to take a measurement, Attorney Plunkett, from the looking from the street from the right hand corner of the garage to that curved uh, property line. for us to just have, based on some of the questions that are coming forward before there be any close of uh, testimony, would it be possible to give us five minutes to just discuss a couple of things in private and then come back to you? Sure. I don't have a problem with that. Sure. Do you guys? Do you want to put this one on hold? Why don't, we, why don't we table them and take the next one? Yeah, case? we can table okay. this and yeah. then we can come back. All right. All right, so at this time we're going to put this hearing on hold and, and move forward with the next. He'd like to talk to his client for a little while. So we're going to let him, he'd like to speak to his client. So we're going to let him do that and then we'll come back to it before we make any determinations. Thank you. So I'd like to make a motion to table. Second. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So now you take him at the end. Yes. Okay. Next on the list, William Penny on behalf of Daniel Ord. Yes. Oh. Okay. For variance under Section 5.3.2 of Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for a front yard setback and a special permit under section 8.1.1.C to alter a previously existing non-conforming structure to rebuild a 20 by 22 garage and add a second level as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at nine Venice Circle, Assessor's Map 108, Lot 25, zoned residential, and this was also continued from 10 22 The voting members are Mike, Joe, and myself. Name and address for the board, please. Uh, my name is William Penny, and I live at 333 Great River Road in Somerville. I'm the designer and uh, the builder for this project. And this is the owner, Daniel Lark, of Nine Venus Circle. Okay, great. Can you talk about what you're trying to do, please? So the plan in this, uh, this is there's an existing garage that was non-conforming, uh, that was built by some previous owner, um, very poorly built and falling apart, and from a safety standpoint needs to be reconstructed. So the idea was to reconstruct a garage in the same footprint that they have currently, um, not making it, actually in one section we make it a little bit smaller but um, keep basically the same footprint as the existing garage and um, add a, another bedroom um, up top. And in, in designing it, I tried to keep the, the additional second floor um, by using some dormers, keeping it low so it matches the ranch house that sits next to it. So that's it in your file. I'm sorry, this, um, no so this is actually a corner lot that's shown on this um, this locust plan that's uh, being a circle and it just says proposed way. What's the name of that street there? Uh, Serenity, uh, Serenity. Serenity Road, I think. Serenity Street. Yeah, so the, the setback with the existing foundation is 15.7 feet, the closest point. I think it's wider as it goes towards the back, towards the uh, Serenity Circle. Yeah, Road or something. I forget what that is. Drive. 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 Uh, and then in addition to that, we're putting an addition on the back for a family room, but that doesn't make 
that meets all the setbacks uh, for the project. But I, don't, well, I don't know maybe it's one by that house, but I have, a, I have a photograph, but it doesn't show the garage, unfortunately, with me today. So basically what we're looking for is a special permit to build on the same foundation and a variance for the 15.7 foot. That should be 20. But the other advantage for doing this is that the, the curb cut, the driveway doesn't have to change because it's going back to the same location. And that, unless the board has any questions, that in a nutshell is what we're proposing. not really adding any you're just keeping the same Correct. footprint nothing's changing so it fits the same footprint so it's just, nothing's it's changing there non-conforming garage okay. a garage currently exists yes currently, yes there's a metro, a garage and there's also a screen porch that's built on the back of the garage and, and all this would come down and there's an enclosed carport next to the garage. It's still the same structure. It's just kind of divided to be carport or closed carport and garage. It shows on this drawing here that it looks like there's a little piece that's going to be removed. Correct. So but this is that what you said at the beginning where it's yes. going to shrink a little bit? Yeah. I didn't really need that piece in the garage, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was kind of weird. So I just took that out. Okay. And the addition on the back actually goes over where the screen porch currently is. Right. So that's, and that's very poorly built as well. I mean, this, the previous owner or whatever had great ideas, but not really good construction knowledge. That screen porch is being turned into a bedroom? Is that what no, you said? It's no, it's completely removed but it's in the footprint it's inside the okay where you see proposed addition yes on the on the uh, site plan it's all part of that garage you can see like a line that goes through the o and the t yep and that plus the face and the nine and a half foot that's currently right now is a very poorly built sun uh screen porch i should say okay. so the plans that you had i i kind of outlined in yellow what was existing. Right. When I made my eight copies. Mike or John? Do you have any questions? I have, I have no questions right now. Okay. Gentlemen, do you have any questions? Okay, being an open hearing, is there anybody here who'd like to speak on this? Okay. Somebody want to make a motion? All right, I'll move. To make those, a motion to both parts of the hearing. Both parts of the hearing, okay. yep. Mine. Second? Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Somebody want to make a motion to approve? Joe, Mike? Yep. Make a motion to approve a uh, special permit under section 81.1C to alter previous existing non conformance structure to rebuild a 20 by 22 garage and add a second level as shown on plans filed with this board. Said that's, property. That's for the special permit, correct? Yep. 
Now I make a motion to accept section of the variance under section five. We get to approve the first one first, the special permit first. Second one is special permit. Approved. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's me, Mike, and Joe on this one. So yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, next one. I make a motion to approve variance under section 532 of two zone bylaws for the front yard setback and a special note for, no, for the sun, front yard setback. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, next was a new hearing for uh, James and Cheryl Tarpey for a, did I say that correctly, I hope? Yep. For a variance under section 5.3.2 of Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for rear yard setbacks and lot coverage and special permit under section 8.1.1C. Um, to alter a previously existing non-conforming structure to construct a 39 by 32.5 addition as shown on plans filed with the board. Said property is located at 60 Bay Street Ave, Assessor's Map 83, Lot 156, Zoned Residential. And the voting members are Rob, Dan, and Joe. Name and address for the board, please. Uh, Jim Toppy, uh, 60 Bay State Ave, Tuckberry. Paul O'Keefe, 250 Mitchell G Drive, Tuckberry. Okay. Can you talk about what you're trying to do, please? You want me to talk? He can talk. He's the builder. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's trying to put on some extended living, get his bedroom onto the first floor, and uh, make room for his kids, the, one of his sons maybe, to move in and care for him as he goes on in years. Uh, in the process of having this done, we bought this house in 89. We found out the rear deck was non-conforming and the commissioner said it would be a good bet to try to take care of both, both issues when we came before you guys. So you're not doing anything to the deck, it's just there? Yeah, we're not touching the deck that's on the existing house. The shed that you see in the plot plan will be removed prior to construction. What's this addition for? Extend the living area. Jim and Cheryl are gonna move it where everything's on their first floor, their bedroom. That whole addition is gonna be a bedroom? Bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. Do you guys have plans or they don't? I forget. Yeah, we'll get the first page. What's that? You do not. Uh oh. So it's a kitchen, small office, washroom, and a bedroom with a bath, and then a half bath. You said the shed's going? The shed is going, yes. Yeah, so the shed's out. The existing drive that goes front to back. What's that? The existing driveway shows yeah. on both sides of the house. It goes from the front of the house to the, the front of the yard to the back of the yard? Just on the right side of the house right now, but that'll be gone. <clears throat> it does go front to back, the existing driveway right now. It does? Yeah. Where that house is, it's all driveway. How big is the house that's there now? In your existing house, how big is that? Square feet wise? Oh, length by width. Um, Give or take. Um, 24 by 40, maybe? 42 by 24, I think.
and you want to build a 39 by 32. That's a lot. You don't have any renderings of what you want to build, do you? What's that? Renderings, computer generated pictures of what you want to build? No, I just, I had asked if they needed the plans and I couldn't remember if they made me print them or not. Would you like to see the set of prints? Um, yeah, it would, it would be helpful. Redoing the front of the house as well, the existing house. Redoing? What do you making it making it match the new section? Siding, yes. Because I got proposed front elevation on the first page. The proposed that's the existing house, right? This yep. is your addition. Yep. Okay. Nothing's really being touched on the new house except for residing it and possibly re-roofing it. Yep. So it currently has the, it's this. Okay, and that's the addition. Like a number. It's definitely like an ammo. Mm-hmm. Only one door. Is there another slider in the back? Looks like there is. Mm. And the stairs going down. Joe, do you want to look at these? Yep. Yeah. 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 So I took these to the commissioner before I first started this journey, and I was gonna. I talked to him about an in-law suite. He says he doesn't see this as an in-law suite. He sees it as extended living space. So that was his determination, not mine. In-law, you'd have to lose. You have to lose one of the doors, wouldn't you? Because the in-law, you have to come through the existing mm -hmm. house. Yeah, but you could put the door on the side. I do a lot of these in town. Where I have that entrance way. Yeah. And you come up, and the door is in the front. The entrance is the doors to the right, so it doesn't face the street. Right. What's um, what's over on Seventh Street there? What's that? Are you asking me? I'm asking anyone who wants to answer it. What's on Seventh Street? Is it regular street? Is it street. a paper street? We've been running into a lot of paper streets lately. Um, no, it's a street. It's a regular street. Does it just go from like your right, your yard to the street, or is there a fence there? Is there? I have a fence along my property. Along that street. Yeah. yeah. This is what I was looking for. This neighborhood has relatively small lots. This is one of the biggest lots in the neighborhood. Yeah. Are you the last lot here? Oh. Is that right? Is that you here? Right there. I'm right on the corner of 7th and Basin. We're right here. Basin. Yeah. So this is his lot here? Yes. So when it shows the driveway going all the way through, that's just stopping? Because they have existing driveway and existing driveway. So it looks like it's 
passion. Oh, oh this right. is right now existing. This is Todd all, all, all the way. That's all, all the way back. Is this the street here, or is the house back here? No, that's there's the house is back house there. Is there? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it just stops there. The driveway. It stops yeah. there, but that's all going to yeah. come up in the construction. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this being a public hearing, I'd like to open this up to the public. No. Okay, somebody want to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing? I'll make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. And a second? Second. All in Aye. favor? Aye. 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 Would you like to make a motion to approve? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to approve a special permit from the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaws Section 8.1.1C, uh, non-conforming structures. Said property is located at 60 Bay, Street, yeah. 60 Bay State Avenue, assesses map 83, lot 156, zoned residential. And that'd be for the existing non-conforming deck that we didn't even talk about. Um, mm -hmm that there aren't going to be any changes to it, just never got permitted in the beginning. Right. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next one. Variance. This one. I'm just, I'm making this denial of this two of them. Mm -hmm. right, let's do them separately. I make a motion to approve a variance from the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaws, section 5.3.2. For a front yard setback, <coughs> said property is located at um, 60 Bay base, base State Avenue, assesses map 83, lot 156, zone residential. All in favor? Let me, Aye. Oh, let, me, let me amend that a little bit. I said front yard setbacks. I should have said rear yard setback. Yeah. Little amendment. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the last one mm -hmm. is the lock coverage. I'd like to make a motion to approve a variance under section uh, 5.3.2 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for lot coverage. Said property is located at 60 Bay State Avenue, assessments map 83, lot 156, zoned residential. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's approved. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Have a good night. You as well. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, we're going back to David Plunkett on behalf of Claudio Pereira <coughs> for the 20 South Rota Street Hearing. Who's voting on this one? This is Ro uh, Rob, Dan, and Mike. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair and the board, for that no uh, courtesy. And uh, we just had a little conference, and we're hoping that the proposal that we have uh, would address some of the concerns of the board. Excuse me. So Claudio was in the construction building. He had a tape ruler with him. So that's always the important thing to see something in real life. And what we're proposing 
is that we are that we shrink the the shrink the distance between the proposed pool from nine feet to five feet. Six. Uh, the six feet. That'd be three, though. Pool to the garage? No, would be five. I mean, pool to the gazebo? Yes, yeah. pool and gazebo, because we're picking up four feet there, correct? No, we're picking up three. Uh, was it four? Yes. Because the four and two is the six plus the 19. Yes, correct. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So the... The space between the uh, gazebo and the proposed pool, rather than nine feet, shrink that to five feet. So he's picking up four feet there. And then the distance between the, uh, between the pool and the garage from five feet to three feet. And with that, we'd be able to get the garage from 19 feet to 25 feet. Twenty-five feet on the outside left corner. On, on the left-hand corner, correct. Yes. Uh, from south, that would be twenty-five feet off of South Rhoda Street. And you still have your driveway between the proposed garage and the existing house. Correct. Car. That's that. That will remain. Nothing would change with that. What are you going to have in front of the garage? Is that going to be blacktop? Are you going to are you going to park there? Or are you going to park in the driveway? Park in the driveway. It's gravel. Is it going to stay gravel in front of the garage? Yep. Unless the city lets me widen the driveway, which I was told I can't. Well, you can't because you don't own it. Right. What do you mean? I you don't own, if you, were to, if you were to drive straight into your garage from the street, if you would drive perfectly straight, you'd be driving over town property. You'd be driving over Edith Drive. Well, th that, okay. yep. yeah. I see what According you're saying. Yeah. No, that, that's Mr. DeMaria's property. According yeah. to the town, it's not. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I have the deed that they say they can't find from Foster to Yvonne Cormier right. and Cormier right. to Mr. DeMaria, right. so. I'm an agent of the town, so I have to go sure. with the town. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, but that won't, because then if that happens, if I was to turn that into a driveway, that's a lot more water that right. is going to end up going onto the street. So, no, I plan on leaving it as is. Okay. When I did the uh, site walk of your, the, the front of your house, Yep. Yeah on the curb, there's like a tar curb and then it changes to a piece of concrete. Yep. That piece of concrete, is that the town's, is that Mr. De Maria's property? That is uh, my property, but um, so the town actually went by my house because I didn't pull a permit to put, to put that. And uh, so I talked, spoke with the engineer and he said that one day they'll end up coming by and continuing the curb all the way so it can prevent all that gravel from running onto the road. So that concrete piece that's in the curb, you put that there? Yeah. Do you, do you remember what, what for? To hold the gravel inside. Oh, okay. And that, that property is your property, not yeah. Mr. Mr. Maria. No, that one, yes. I don't see how that's your property. Can that's you, can what you, they said. Can you show me on here? When this curb comes over here, the curb doesn't end almost to the left side of your garage. Oh, yeah. See this curve here? Mm -hmm. 
And that's on it. So yeah, if he comes out here, right, straight, and I'm pretty sure that that concrete's right here. It's awfully close. It's confusing. All right, we're pushing. But the intent is just to the gravel in front of your uh, garage. So there, there is no intent to pave. It would be gravel. Uh, right. So my other question is when we decide to vote on these variances, do we need to we are going to need to like have several variances. Correct. Is that correct? One for the pool, one for the garage, one for the gazebo, one for the lot size usage. As many approvals on this one. <laughs> no, actually, it's all one. Mm -hmm. One variance. Mm -hmm. it's all There's one. no special on this one. You have the front setback for the garage, right? The side setback for the garage. Getting into this, there's no different other than the pool's not different, the gazebo's not different. There's no special variances. And that's why you don't have to do that because it's not a special permit. Mm hmm. All one. Just one variance. Under different sections, but it's a one variance. I'd, I'd be curious what the neighbor has to say about this. Mm -hmm. This being a public hearing, does anybody want to speak on this? Sir, would you like to go back up to the podium and speak on it, or are you comfortable? I'm comfortable with the 25 foot setback, yes. Thank you. Anybody else? No? Somebody want to make a motion? I move to close both parts of the hearing. Second. All set? Yes. And if there are any further questions, just you know, the synopsis would be that with the change pushing both the pool and the garage back so that the garage will now be 25 feet off of South Road Street. And we're condensing the gap between the pool and the gazebo to five feet, and from the pool to the garage to three feet. <coughs> you have a motion on the floor to close both to parts. To close of both parts of the hearing. Somebody. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Somebody want to make a motion? Make sure we reference the changes. Oh, the the changes five feet. Uh, that were just brought up. Nine feet between the pool and gazebo has been changed to six to five feet, excuse me. And the five feet between the pool and the garage has been changed to three. Do you, do you want to make note of that? Do you want to make the motion? I'm going to make the motion. Yeah. All right. Where are we? I make a motion to approve for a variance under section 5.3.2 and 5.3.1 E3 of the Tuxbury Zoning Bylaws for front yard setback to construct a 24 by 18 detached garage and a 20 by 20 enclosed gazebo and install a 20 by 18 in-ground pool as shown on plans filed with this board. Plans have been amended to reference space between the gazebo and the pool will be changed from nine feet to five feet. Space between the pool and the garage will be changed from five feet to three feet. Space from South Rota Street to the front of the garage will now be 25 feet. Said property is located at 20 South Rota Street, Assessors Map 70, Lot 174, Zone Residential. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah? Yes? You're approved. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Okay, uh, any old business? We're still in session, gentlemen. Any new businesses? Gentlemen. Okay, somebody wanna make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.